Welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today we're going to continue talking about the Skeeter engineering difference. If you look at the back of the boat, man, we got this beast of a motor, the Yamaha 250 SHO. This is a four-stroke motor. It's probably one of the most awesome motors I've ever run. And one of the things I really like about it is two-stroke oil is gone. I don't have any tank inside. I don't have anything to have to remote fill. Change the oil 25 hours and then change it again at every 100 hours. Filter and seven quarts of oil. Bam! <laughs> That's nice. That's nice on my pocketbook too. I can put my pennies in the in fishing tackle and getting down the lake. Uh, but with, a, with these big high thrust, high torque, super high output motors, we've got to have a boat system to handle that kind of torque. And it's amazing, the Skeeter Engineering, the way they designed it, we use a, we use a 12 inch jack plate. They have uh, standard as a manual jack plate. Or as you see here, I've got the Atlas hydraulic jack plate that you can raise and lower. I'll just run it up here real quick for you. As you can see, I just raised it up to the maximum height. That jack plate, what it allows you to do, uh, the big reason I use a hydraulic jack plate is I can raise this motor up, I can actually tilt it back down, and when I'm, when I'm idling into big stump fields or areas that I don't know, I can actually push this boat straight, have the prop up more above the hull so I'm not going to damage my prop if I go into a stump field. That's probably the number one reason I run a hydraulic jack plate. The other thing is I can fine tune that boat to the load that day, the conditions that day. If it's windier and rougher and I want to put more boat down in the water, I can lower that jack plate and be safer. Uh, I really never bought it for shallow water running. Some people say they like it that way. My big reason is to fine tune the conditions while I'm out there running, I can watch my Hummingbird GPS and it's going to tell me what the old big bad boy is doing back here and have the performance of the boat. Uh, from that jack plate, we go into the boat. And as we explained earlier, with the no splash well here, it allows Skeeter to build their transom from port to starboard, from full height to bottom height. That transom is laying all the way across here gives us more structural strength. Man, you got some boats, they ain't got that big a transom back there. It's about the footprint of what the boat, the motor bolts up to. And that's what's holding the boat, giving it the force to push that boat and lift that boat. Basically this motor, when it's, it's trying to lift, it's trying to take the boat and it's, and, it's, and it's trying to force it forward, but it bows down and picks the boat up. With our as we explained earlier, talking about moving our center of gravity back here with our weight distribution allows when this boat, when this motor is trying to pick it up, makes it easier to lift that boat. Allows us to get use more of our horsepower that that, that this motor is creating to push the boat forward instead of trying to lift the boat. So putting the weight back here, I highly recommend if you carry a lot of heavy tackle like I do, I put my heavy tackle in my back storage boxes versus forward it takes a lot less energy and wasted and waste less horsepower trying to pick the nose of the boat up if you store your heavy stuff in the back boxes here but from our jack plate we go straight inside and we're going to move the camera in here so we can look inside there at our torque transfer system and our stringer system that actually ties the motor to the whole part of the boat if you look you can see our aluminum knee brace right here. It's attached right back here with the same bolt that goes back and attaches to the jack plate. So we're actually mashing that aluminum knee brace system, the transom, to the jack plate to make it a solid connection to help tor transfer that torque into the boat. Torque can only be transferred through hard metals like aluminum, titanium, steel. That stress from that motor is being transferred in through here through our knee brace system if you look down here 
you can see our bolts there's actually another one that's up underneath the charger right here that is attached to our stringer system that runs all the way to the front of the boat so taking that horsepower and the torque is is trying to lift that boat it's trying to lift that boat here back here much easier it, it allows that boat to lift much easier and what it allows that to do then is to allow our performance and our use our use utilize the most of our horsepower to push the boat forward versus trying to lift the boat out of the water again when you're at a boat show check out that aluminum knee brace system and see how other people are doing it and have them explain how to, how they transport torque now this is one of the exercises that's that's a lot of fun uh to help you understand what the the outboard is doing i'm going to be the outboard my arm's going to be on a torque transfer system and our strength is going to be represented by this 2x4. If you try to take this, if I was just a straight transom mounted to this board and I tried to pick it up, I can't pick it. it I can't pick that board up. I'm trying to pick the board up this way and I can't do it. So I'm utilizing all my energy and my horsepower to try to pick that front of that boat up and I can't do it. But if I'm like an aluminum knee brace system, our transom's back here, and I bring that forward here, I can grab underneath that, and I can start picking that boat up. And that's the same thing our aluminum knee brace system is moving that energy and picking that boat up here. It's less stress, it's easier on the boat, you get better performance because you get the nose out of the water and you're running down the lake. Try that little test at home and just see how easy it is for you. See if you're strong enough to pick a board up by the end back here. I can't do it, but maybe you can. Maybe your boat can. You know, we've talked about the back end of the boat, the transom, the jack plate, the aluminum knee brace system, the stringer system. Uh, check out the Skeeter website. They have an excellent picture of it. I'll throw it up here. That you can see that that stringer system runs all the way to the front of the boat. It's made. It's got an aircraft aluminum in there to help transfer that torque, take the stress off the transom, distribute it through the boat, and and disperse it. Uh, fiberglass can only absorb stress and torque. Same thing with water, it absorbs torque and stress. But to transfer it, you have to use a metal surface like aluminum, titanium or steel that is a very high density of metal to transfer torque and Skeeter does it with our with our stringer system our torque transfer system aluminum knee brace so when you're at the dealer the boat show check it out and check out on all this stuff combines together to move that energy forward to make it easier for the outboard to lift that boat so you get better performance more better fuel economy you don't have to run these boats wide open to enjoy them you can get better fuel economy backing them off a little bit but still get high performance skeeter characteristics at all range of speeds as we talked about in the different pad configurations the back of the boat this transom sponsor bow it all is coming together into one to make high performance bass boats that are engineered like no other Check out the other brands out there and, and have them explain their engineering and their philosophies and how they transfer torque, how they turn, how they lift the bow. How is those components on their boats designed to do the same thing that we're showing you here in this series of tips and tricks videos? I appreciate you tuning in. Tune in next time as we go more in depth with the, the Skeeter boats, the Yamaha outboards, Humminbird, Minn Kota, and all my sponsors' products. So you can make the best educated decision to spend your hard-earned dollars on a product that is best for you. Thank you, and tune in next time.